Luka Donich stuff stat sheet, leads Mavs over Wolves. This one is out now and I already bring it first hand for you, and if you want to stay into everything that happens at Mavs, subscribe right now to stay always updated on Dallas Dumnat. Let's go to the news. Dallas guard Luka Donich, right, passes while Minnesota center Rudy Gobert defends on Wednesday, December 21, 2022, at Target Center in Minneapolis. Donick had 25 points and 10 rebounds to lead the Mavericks to the 104-99 win. Donich made 8 of 16 shots from the floor after being limited to a season-low 19 points in Dallas 116-106 setback to Minnesota on Monday. His night was cut short in that contest after being ejected in the third quarter. Tim Hardaway Jr. and Spencer Dinwiddie each drained four three-pointers on Wednesday to finish with 21 and 19 points, respectively. Christian Wood scored 12 points and Dwight Powell added 10 for the Mavericks, who have won three of their last eight games overall and four of 15 on the road this season. Are you liking the news? Leave your like to help the channel. Thus you motivate me to always continue bringing you the latest news from Dallas. Earlier on Wednesday, Dallas coach Jason Kidd was fined $25,000 by the NBA for coming onto the court to confront and direct inappropriate language toward a game official during Monday's game. He was assessed two technical fouls and ejected from the contest. Hardaway made a free throw to push the Mavericks' advantage to 100-94 with 32.7 seconds left. Jaden McDaniels sank a three-pointer on the next possession to have the deficit before Donich and Dinwiddie sealed the win by each converting two shots from the free-throw line. The Timberwolves were nursing an 85-82 lead before the Mavericks started to heat up from three-point range. Hardaway and Reggie Bullock each sank a pair of trays and Dinwiddie also converted from beyond the arc to give Dallas a 97-89 lead with four minutes remaining in the fourth quarter. What did you think of this? Did you expect this or not? Comment there your opinion, I would really like to know what you think about it. AH and stay tuned on the channel, because I am always posting the latest news from Dallas subscribe to not miss it.